What is your uh, recommended set of supplements that you recommend every man on TRT? This video is sponsored by Mizumi, the number one pick for men on TRT. Shop now at Mizumi's using the link in the description under this video. That's a fair question. I always start with the baseline MVI because everyone, everyone should be on an MV, a multivite, MVI, multivite, okay? Why do I say that? Uh, the uh, JAMA in uh, July, well, summer of 2002, uh, they came out and the, in, this art, in the article, it said, black and white, every body, everyone should be on the baseline multivite because it could save 48,000 uh, lives per year in the USA alone. And that's just a cheap multi, right? Not a not a, a really expensive one. And you know, forty eight thousand lives may not seem like a lot, but if, if you were in that forty eight thousand, that may be given some extended life because now you're in a multi, right? Or indeed you weren't. That's significant. So we have the multi, right? As a foundation, and I never assume that people are multi, right? I'm amazed that this article came out what. 19 years ago and it's not general knowledge that everyone needs to be on a multivite so it just baffles me and i'm a big proponent of vitamin c because you know it, humans don't manufacture vitamin c endogenously we lost that ability millennium ago um so i started by on two to four grams of vitamin c daily but not only is it a good dose, uh, but I found it helps with adrenal fatigue. So if I'm looking at someone, almost everyone in today's society has some component of hypoadrenia. So I'll start on my vitamin C on top of the MBI. We know vitamin D is not a real vitamin, it's a pro-hormone, but that is the most important hormone for immuno, um, for immune potency. Um, so everybody needs to be on vitamin D in my particular, in my view. And since everybody I meet is magnesium deficient, I recommend magnesium. So, so multivite, vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium uh, is another uh, one I recommend. And I recently got into trying to recommend melatonin for everybody. I'm a big proponent of the value of, of melatonin when it comes to anti-aging of the brain parenchyma. Um, so that's another one I throw in there. So multivite, vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, magnesium. Oh yeah, I forgot DHEA. I always look at DHEA because it's kind of like a, it's a neurosteroid that's a kind of a adaptogenic, meaning it kind of fills pathways where the body needs hormone so and it's one of the hormones that after we turn 30 starts coming down slowly you know steadily and so i replete uh dhea uh, i suggest vitamin c at uh, two to four grams a day i suggest a magnesium supplement like there would be glycinate bisglycinate or three and eight at 750 to a thousand milligrams per day and I usually start people on melatonin at just one to three milligrams at night and tell them to take it and, and bring it up, up, up as tolerated. Some people can't tolerate it, though. It's unfortunate. But if you can tolerate, try to get to uh, greater than 20 milligrams. But that's the dose that's been researched to show you get above. Once you get above 20 milligrams of melatonin, you really reap the benefits of the anti carcinogenic properties mm -hmm. of melatonin mm -hmm. but you gotta be above 20 milligrams to, to reach that and what about uh, k2 oh yeah well yes i mean thanks again but i never recommend a straight d um without k2 there are, are great supplements out there there are some combo supplements that have the you know, d3 mm -hmm. with the k2 and of course, you can just buy K2. Uh, uh, also, you can get just a, a D supplement. You can buy K2 by itself. 
but mainly it's supplements that keep up to speed, uh, like Douglas Labs, or like uh, Designs for Health, which we use. Uh, they've done the research already, and they'll marry up the amount of uh, vitamin K2 with the D3 that's been researched to be in harmony. Okay, so the um, K2 is very important. We discussed this because K2 acts as the quarterback that directs calcium to the proper tissues and keeps it away from the improper tissues. Hmm. 